Okay. Um, so here we have the uh, Nike Trainer, Nike Free Trainer 5.0. Um, just got these a couple days ago. Uh, first impression was a uh, pretty sweet shoe. Um, good fit, very snug fit. Um, nice and light, nice and flexible. Um, good support and cushion in the heel. I really like that. You could really feel just the bounce and the cushion in the heel with the heel strike, uh, which I really like in my shoes. Um, it just, it's got a good feel to it. it really, you really just, how do I, like you, you really feel the ground under your feet, which is cool, which I like. Um, so, uh, and then the traction on these guys, uh, like I said, really flexible. Um, they've got like the regular Nike free kind of style thing going there with the, with the big grooves that give you the ultra flexibility. Um, uh, around the perimeter, the edges of these, they've got, uh, um, solid rubber here. Uh, it's kind of, I don't know, there you go. You can kind of see the uh, texture on these guys. They're super toothy. Not really spikes, just toothy. Um, stick real good. I mean, I could see that sticking real good to like pavement, asphalt, whatever. Even turf, maybe. So on the t toe and the heels, they've got the solid rubber, which is pretty tough. Um, and then the rest of the sole is just a regular, like, foam composite, I'm assuming. Um, only downfall of these, I have the, uh, <coughs> the, uh, version three or fours, I'm not sure which ones they are, one, of uh, one or two version older than this. Um, I, uh, actually blew the bottoms out on them, on them, playing basketball, um, uh, just totally separated the inside of one of these little squares uh, so it just peels up and there's a hole I mean it's I mean I can still wear them and play in them do whatever in them there's just a flap there's kind of a hole but it hasn't been that big of an issue but yeah um, good grips good traction um, they've got uh, it's called they call it the dual pulling lacing system um, so instead of like your traditional, uh, what the hell, traditional eyelets like they do on most shoes here, uh, they've got like this kind of looped up system going here. So the, the, um, eyelet kind of wraps down into the tongue and then the inside wall of the shoe, which I guess helps to give a tighter lace up and just better support which I've actually kind of noticed so that's cool um, the uh, I guess and then so the traditional trainer fives of these are kind of like they have like a lattice kind of um, weaved look to them um, but uh, I mean I'm assuming it's the same shoe just different upper uh, I mean, I almost kind of like these better. I just, I don't know. It's same material, tough, tough material, which I think should hold up pretty well, other than the toe, just to give some breathability, just that cloth, dry fitty mesh stuff. Um, but a super light shoe, good bounce in the heel, um, very snug, um, good support and cushion, um, but, uh, Overall, first impression of it was uh, pretty good. I've been kind of just experimenting with different running shoes and training shoes lately. In the past couple shoes, I haven't really been a big fan of, like the fly knit stuff. Just kind of does. I don't know. I just wasn't a big fan. I still have to do a video on um, a pair of the 2014 Air Max fly knits. Um, which yeah, I wasn't a big fan of. So, but these guys, I dig. They're pretty, pretty nice. Good versatile all-around shoe. 
Um, and then I'm also got a request to do another dissection on my LeBron 8s. Uh, so I'm going to cut those bad boys up and do that here hopefully in a couple weeks. Um, that was from Skater Kiss of Death was the guy who requested that so I'll try to get that up for you and then uh, I still got to do my review on the 2014 Flyknits so yeah thanks